I'm here at the paint shop at Skeller Customs in Butler. Brought the armrest kit with me. In process of getting everything in paint. So again, this is ideal. I can see where people do have a hard time installing this because a lot of this has to come apart. But since it's already apart, Give you a quick little tour here of everything getting staged and some nice stands that Sean made. Parts over there. But here is the template. Taped onto the tub. Gonna be drilling four holes per side. The instructions want you to do pilot holes and the largest to nine thirty seconds. And you can see where that bracket's gonna fit down in. There's an offset bracket that will fit underneath. And there's a little lip right here. That that offset bracket is made just because of that. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and drill the holes and I'll proceed a little bit later on once this is out of paint and getting ready for install. Okay. Drill pilot holes, 930 seconds. And take your template off. And what's gonna happen here? This will sit on. Gasket will sit on there. This has threaded ends. I'm not sure which uh which direction if I have it on, maybe it needs to be turned the other way, most likely this way. But then the bolts, this offset bracket will fit underneath and the bolts will come up and bolt into this. And whenever I do get to the next part of this video, this should now be in paint. As I'm still in process of doing some modifications to the tri-glide, the front end is tore back apart, getting a front fork kit from Pro Action to help complement the rear 14 inch Pro Action shocks. Got the parts laid out. Here we got the tub back. Fenders are bolted on. Gonna be ready to put this on the main frame here, but beforehand, we wanna go ahead and get the rest of this armrest kit installed just while we have it down out of the way and don't have to worry about taking the wheels and tires off to get to this part. Of course, the instructions do come with it again. Uh, the next step is to get the blocks and the gasket, two short bolts for the front, two long bolts for the back, four lock washers, and one of the plates. And don't forget, this is step down. It's made to go ahead. It'll be like this on each side. And then what you're gonna do is simply bolt it underneath. And I'll do that here next. Okay, got the right side block already installed. Uh, there is an orientation on these. You can see it's solid on the outside here. And the two bolts I'll be going through to hold the arms will be on the inside facing in. And let me show you underneath. There's the plate. Again, in the back are the longer bolts. The shorter bolts are in the front. These get torqued to 120 inch pounds. Again, inch pounds, not foot pounds. 
and do the exact same thing for this side. And don't forget, your best friend. Got to use some Loctite. All right, the left side is now done. Again, solid on the outside. The two holes are gonna be facing each other on the inside. Let me get a picture of it here. There we go. So at this point, you can start installing the arms and the rest of the components. But in my case, I have to still put the tub back on the body. But that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. We'll cut away. And once this tub is installed back on the subframe on the Trek itself, we'll go to the next steps. All right, the next step is actually installing your tour pack again because of course you had to take it off. Now, in my case, I am not going to have to do this. But I guess they need these for clearance. They actually give you these two bars, two holes on each side. So you got a total of four screws. You gotta actually tap studs out and basically you're gonna be replacing it. What you're gonna do is you're actually spacing the tour pack up a little bit and that will be right before installing the armrest but in my case I do have the tour pack on it already and the spacers aren't needed because I do have a DK customs tour pack relocation kit so that already spaces it up so in my case I'm going to be ready to install the armrests so the next step now is to get the correct armrest side. This is the left side. And what you're gonna do is slide it into the hole. You're gonna have two more bolts. And that's why you have these bolt holes in on the inside. You're gonna slide this in Put some thread locker on those bolts and go ahead and bolt it into place. Once you have those bolted in place, again, don't forget, use a little dab of Loctite on those bolts. You are now ready for the final step. That is installing the last part of the armrest itself. This is splined, I guess for easy rotation. Inside there is just a hollow tube. There's no gears, there's nothing else like at the mesh. But they do want you to put some electrical contact uh, grease on this. Uh, you and I call that dielectric grease. Also the same for those, forgot to note that. Yeah, we're going to put a little bit of dielectric grease on. There's two little O-rings there. And that little gear drive in the very center. Which basically just allows it to spin. And at that point, I'm going to put it down in place. I tell you, you may have to wiggle it down into place. And that's it. Do it to this side. And the same to the other side. Once you got both armrests pushed down into place you are now officially done with your installation. Now, in my case, this worked out really good with me having the tub off of this. The instructions tell you to take your wheels off. And it's still a pain because not only do you have your fender, but you also have the tub that comes down underneath there. You've got to reach your hand up underneath to get to the plate that goes underneath here. So if you do want to go ahead and take the tub off, you have to take the tour pack off anyways. Uh, there's only a total of eight bolts, six inside the trunk area and two on the outside, one on each side, you know, here and the opposite side. And you can take this tub off pretty easy. You know, get to your shocks, do some maintaining, do some cleaning. So personally, I would recommend that. But 
that's up to you. But this is definitely one of the nicer kits compared to the aftermarket ones that mount onto the tour pack itself. Um, not going to put any stress on the tour pack. This actually mounts down on the tub. Uh, these swing out of the way real nice. These also will swivel. Both sides open up for storage. So yeah, the wife's going to be really happy with this. All right, that's going to conclude the end of this video. I have a lot more work to do with this. Still got the inner fairing and outer fairing, the fender, all the audio I still need to do yet. But this was the perfect time for me to go ahead and install this. So that's the main purpose of this video. And stay tuned for another future video. Once I get this done, I'm going to do a complete overview of all the modifications that has been done to this trike. This is not going to be your standard tri-glide trike. A lot of modifications were done to make it comfortable, but also uh, very, very sporty. And uh, this thing is going to be really nice when it's done. Okay, guys, ride safe, stay safe.